Let's start. The project name is the foreground service. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity, a foreground service class, and a notification model class. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. In the manifest file, we have mentioned the foreground service class. The enabled attribute is set to true, but the exported attribute is set to false so that other apps won't be able to start this service. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have two buttons, start foreground service and stop foreground service. Let's see the code. The constraint layout is the root layout. This is the start foreground service button. This is the stop foreground service button. Let's see the Java code now. These are the imports. This is the foreground service class that extends the service class. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, we call the start foreground method. Inside the foreground method, we call the show notification function. This notification is needed to start a foreground service. This is the show notification function. Here we create a notification channel and a notification. In the on start command function, first, we show a toast that a service has been started. Then we call the do task function. This is the do task function. Here we start the executor service, which starts a background thread where we perform some random task. Here we start a for loop, we use the iteration number as the data. We call the update notification function inside a handler which passes the data from the background thread to notification on the main thread. So as the for loop goes on, its value would be updated on the notification and the user can see it. This is the update notification function. This is how we update the already going notification. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, we create an in intent with foreground service as the destination. When the start foreground service button is clicked, we call the start service function as pass the intent in it. This will start the service. When the stop foreground service button is clicked, we call the stop service function and pass the intent in it. This will stop the service. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement a foreground service in Java Android. Thanks for watching.